Welcome to the StockMentor.com studios. I am your stock mentor, Brian Johnson. Flat day today, obviously, it went nowhere. Very, very boring. Consolidation day and eager anticipation, I think, of earnings, of course. People waiting to see what some of the earnings are going to be coming out of the shoot. Maybe give um, us a better idea of what we're going to see this week. Now, what's interesting is not only do we start... Um, um, earning season, but we also have options expiration week. So uh, obviously the two of them are going to, I think, add to uh, and make for a very exciting week in the markets themselves. Overall, we did sneak above that 10-200 mark, but just barely. There really wasn't much to, to look at from the market standpoint today. A very, very a minimal move today, high of... Uh, 10 to 20, low of 10, 146 on the 70, 70, 80 point move top to bottom in the Dow is really, really nothing. No, nothing to go on as well from the um, volume side of things. Things very flat across the board. Once again, really just waiting, I think, on where and what we're going to see come earnings time with a lot of these companies. Expect, and I would expect to see maybe a lot of uh, gaps during the course of a week. You know, you wake up one day and it's up. Next day it's down. Just anything can happen here. Uh, so be very cautious if you're going to hold overnight with all of your positions. Overall, still hanging up here towards the top. So we'll see if this continues to the upside. Obviously, my target being right up here in the 10, 300, 10, 350 ish area. One of my more major areas of overhead resistance. That's what we're looking at above us. Watch for that. If we happen to get good earnings tonight, maybe we gap up into this area in the morning. Otherwise, below us, I'm still really watching, I think, uh, maybe opportunities below 10,100, ultimately below 10,000 on the Dow chart. From a daily standpoint here, you can see we're closing in on, yeah, that 10,300-ish area is right in or around now, the 50-day moving average. Once again, watch that if there's some sort of a gap up in the morning. If it doesn't get up and above that area, that's the area you're going to want to watch as overhead resistance followed by 10, 350-ish or so here on the 200. Starting to slowly creep our way back upwards. The bulls holding it tight today. We did have a little bit of a drop, but it was held nicely by the 20-day moving average as we saw price move back up following the strike of that. Here are your next levels to be watching from a daily standpoint. NASDAQ on a 60 also battling, still beating away at the 200, which was one of my overhead targets mentioned this weekend. It would just seemed logical that it was going to make it to this point. Sure enough, it did. This was a great opportunity to maybe make a couple of pennies on the way back up, but you can see it pull back and now it's just hovering here. Waiting for a break one way or the other, and what is the best way to get above or below certain things? A gap. So let's see if we get some sort of crazy earnings tonight. That forces or has the market going one way or the other come tomorrow morning. Watch these levels. These are your go long, go short levels on the NASDAQ. For your intraday traders, from a daily perspective, holding the 20-day moving average, we did just barely stick our head against it, but you can see what we hit. We hit the 200 period on the 60 minute, which was a very logical place to run to uh, coming into today. So we're still watching this, followed by 1840, followed by 1850, probably 5560 ish area somewhere up in here. Lots of overhead resistance for the NASDAQ to beat through, and you can see that there wasn't a lot of. Um, uh, wasn't uh, we haven't seen a lot of volume pouring into the market on this move back to the upside so more of the same today as people of course await earnings uh, from a weekly it's only Monday I won't worry about this quite yet and besides I mean the can <laughs> candle's so small you can't even see it it's just buried it is there uh, it's just buried within a, that whole mess of stuff we got a whole glob of support and resistance kind of in that same area so nowhere today uh, nothing to look at, and won't be anything to look at actually till we get into about Thursday or so on the weekly charts. SPX on a 60 did manage. Okay, now it fell below the 200, but managed to get back above it today, but nowhere overall. I mean, up, not even really a, not even a point on the day. So we didn't break this overhead area. We didn't break this lower area. There was no trading to be done on the indices today. So it's a great day to enjoy the weather if it was nice in your area. Putting in a little doji candle here. Yes, it is a re potential reversal candle. 
However, with um, the volatility of earnings season coming out now, anything can happen. Just got to be on your toes. Be very quick. Take your profits. Be happy with it. Call it good. And uh, move on to the next trade. That's about all you can do at this point. Overhead resistance is still up around the 1100-ish area on the SPX. From a weekly, once again, tiny little candle. Can't barely see it. Won't worry about it till Thursday. VIX was down today, so we did see some more confirmation in the VIX. Market moved up ever so slightly. VIX moved down ever so slightly, but still holding this 200 period moving average. If VIX starts to really pour below this, yeah, I think we're going to see more up to the markets if that happens. From a weekly as well, a little bit early to be talking about it, but it's just caught in a mess of support and resistance right here. Still looking for breaks back down below about 23 for the VIX, and I, if that happens, I think it may continue to the downside, which should mean, should mean, further upward motion to the markets. Apple on a 60 minute look at this just all consolidation right here you can look at this any way you want to I'm not going to get into the count of things but this consolidation as long as it hangs out here is still bullish in the shorter term waiting for breaks back up into this area before I really look to go long Apple um, uh, to the short side below this 255 mark looks like that could give you some opportunity there daily is the same thing look at it bounce right between the 20 and the 50 day moving averages holding nicely they're closing their one two three four days in a row we've had closes in between those two marks so giving you opportunities both long and short on Apple just waiting for the break from a weekly standpoint a little bit early to be talking about that going nowhere right now FAS on a 60 minute showing what we've seen on all the other indices and that's flat going nowhere everybody's waiting still looking for breaks above that 2225 ish area I might make for a good long uh, maybe back into twenty three dollars otherwise below maybe twenty one dollars 21 25 somewhere down in there for your shorting opportunity fas on a daily watch the 20 day that is at 2172 2172 so be very cautious of that on any move back to the downside that's the area you want it to break otherwise as long as it holds up here that is bullish and we could see 23 24 bucks out of this thing before the week is over with faz on a 60 minute straight down bouncing 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 this ultimately is just kind of a low base formation your trade is still back down below somewhere below i don't know 1460 1455 kind of up to you but i think that makes for a good shorting opportunity back into the 14 dollar 10 cent area somewhere around in there and from a daily you can see it's still holding below now it's not only below this blue line it's below uh, the 50 and it's held there now for a couple of days um Still anybody's guess because of earnings which way these things will go. But if in, in a normal week, this would not be bullish. This would definitely be bearish with its bias to this $14.10 scenario, $14.25 scenario, whatever this is, I can't tell. But um, overall, you really just have to remain you know, re bullish in the short term on these markets. I expect we'll see some more up. Uh, uh, before this is all over with. Maybe we see a pullback first and then a move to the upside. It's really anybody's guess at this time, but this wave is not um, uh, not finished in, in, in my mind. I just, I don't see it as complete yet. Uh, back below maybe 10, 100 uh, or so. Okay, now maybe we can, you know, talk about this as being a wave quote unquote wave three finished up here or whatever but until this thing stops turns around there's really no reason to think that it's stopped so i still believe that in the short term we have to remain neutral to a bullish in the short term i still think there's opportunity to continue this little move higher within the markets that'll do it for today's video and I um, will be back with you again tomorrow. Now, once again, be very cautious with holding overnight, especially within the indices. Anything can happen. All depends on whether earnings start out good, whether they start out bad. And sometimes it really doesn't matter if they're good or bad. The markets just do what they do. You have to be prepared for that. Just remember it's extra volatility this week. And take care of your money. I'll be back with you again tomorrow night. Bye.